going to talk about maintaining your finish of your offset smoker. Now this is a raw finish, of course, this is very popular for our workhorse pits. Now maintaining it is pretty easy, it does take a little work, but it lasts and looks a lot better in the long run. This pit can look brand new in 20 years with just a little maintenance. So we were one of the first, if not the first, to use linseed oil on our finish to give us that real nice raw patina. And it does take some maintaining. We're gonna start off with, we need to scratch the surface, get the rust off. So let's discuss some of the tools we could use for the maintenance. All these can be found at your local hardware store. If the smoker's taking on a lot of rust, you can go as far as using an angle grinder with a flap disc or a wire wheel. You don't need that for just patches of surface rust. You can use a stainless wire brush, steel wool, you could use this Scotch-Brite pad, which I find really good. So you want to make sure that you're not burning yourself. So you maybe double up your Scotch-Brite pad. And then I'm going to come over here and get these other spots. And I'm just going to knock out the rust. I'm just going to knock out where the moisture has sat in there and started the rusting process. Now this coating that I had on here has lasted about six to seven months. Now with a cover, you're going to be able to prevent that rust from happening for maybe a year or longer. But if you're uncovered, you're gonna get it a little quicker. But don't worry, you can bring it right back to its full shine and full shimmer like it's brand new. So it's important that you dry it off, you get a little bit of acetone maybe. Be careful with the acetone near the fire, it is very flammable. Or you can just use water. I just simply put a little bit of water on here and I wanna get off the pollen and the dust and anything that's a loose particle on here. We wanna go back down to the surface and of course just wipe it down. Uh, you know, here in Georgia, you get a little bit of pollen in the spring, in the summer. So we're getting this thing clean. And then now we're ready to apply some linseed oil. I put a, a little bit of linseed oil on a foam block. I'll take a car wash block and cut it up into squares. This is just foam. And then I'll just start the application process. So to maintain your smoker, there's a few things we have to talk about. Number one, what are we gonna to use to get the actual smoker hot to put the linseed oil on? I recommend just using the heat from the cook. So the heat will help with the penetration of the oil and also for the curing of the oil. If you've just completed a cook, you've got your meat off the smoker, that's a prime time to be doing some maintenance on your smoker. Now, my smoker's only about 250 degrees. So I'm gonna do the firebox after I kind of get that fire down and it's cooled down a little bit. It's fine if I apply it at 400 degrees, but I'd probably need some leather gloves or some tongs because this will get hot. And remember folks, linseed oil will combust. If I leave linseed oil on this thing, you can already see it'll start to combust. So now we're ready to apply the linseed oil. Remember, we're only coating the outside of the smoker. And the first step is gonna to be to actually coat the smokestack, the legs, and all around the frame of the wood storage rack. And then you can come as it starts to cool down right here on the chamber, you can start to coat the chamber, and then you can move to the firebox once the fire's gone out and the firebox has gotten a lot cooler so where you can almost touch it. Once again, having it a couple hundred degrees is great, but not necessary. You can also cold wipe, but I recommend doing it right after a cook where you can have a couple hundred degrees, if not more, on the firebox and the chamber. Now we've seen in our short history that the firebox is gonna need a little bit more maintenance than the actual chamber. The firebox is gonna get really hot during a cook, whereas the chamber could only get between maybe 250 if you're hot and fast cooking up to 400 degrees. The firebox will get in excess of four to 500 degrees and that will have a little bit more wear and tear on the actual smoker. It'll burn the finish off. So it may take or may require a little bit more of a maintenance program. It only takes just a few minutes to maintain your smoker. And the only thing you need is a Scotch-Brite, a towel, a little bit of linseed oil, and a foam brush. And of course, I recommend maintaining it after your fire has gone out and your heat's still there in the metal, but not as hot as it was when you're cooking. So this is a pretty easy step to maintain your offset smoker by workhorse, and you can maintain this smoker for a lifetime.